Good morning, eighth graders. Welcome back. We're going to do section 4.6 today. We're going to focus on example one. And our goal today is to learn how to graph using just the slope and the y-intercept when they've been given to us. So let's go ahead and jump right in to example one. We're going to graph the line that has a slope of negative two and a y-intercept of four. So I'm actually going to do two graphs with you today. And so I want you to create some space. And as you draw your XY coordinate plane, leave enough room so that we can do another one to the right side of your paper. Okay, now let's look at what we've been given. I'm gonna circle it for you so you see very clearly what we do know. We were given that slope is negative two. Anytime you're given an integer, anytime it's an integer that's being given, turn that integer so that it is a fraction. So let's think for just a second. What would I need to do to negative two to make it a fraction? Okay, if you said put it over one, you are absolutely correct. So great job on that. We wanna create a fraction. If it's not already in fraction form, we want to make our slope a fraction. Why is that? Because we wanna make it in rise over run format. That's going to be very important. We're going to use rise over run to construct other points on our graph. The other equally important point is that they give us the y-intercept, and we know that our y-intercept is at positive 4. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to mark the one point you know. You know for a fact that the point 0, 4, the y-intercept, is on your line. So let's start at the origin, and let's count up, and let's mark 0, 4, or positive 4 on the y-intercept. That's the one point you know is on your line, and that is the point from where we are going to begin constructing other points. We're now going to use the slope to find other points. Okay, so now our slope is negative 2, over positive one. So what does that mean in rise over run format? Well, what that means is the negative two means we're gonna go down two because the negative sign means go down and the plus one means go right one. So the signs of each of your numbers tell you the direction to go. So it's really important we get comfortable with that. Negative two over one is the same thing as negative 2 over positive 1, which means go down to right 1. Now, stop for just a second. In the margin, write bonus. I did this in the last video series. Write the word bonus. And then underneath that, I want you to answer this question. Which way should the line be leaning if we have a negative slope? Now, I always go into these graphs thinking of that ahead of time. I want to anticipate what my line should look like because if it doesn't look like what I think it should, I probably did something wrong. So tell me what or which way should the line lean? And if you think you know the answer, write it down right now. Just pause the video for just a second and write it down. Okay, let's get started again, and we're going to, from the y-intercept, we're going to graph other points on our line. You can do as many as you want, but minimally, you need to do at least one other point besides the y-intercept. Okay, so get your pencil tip on the y-intercept, okay? We're going to do exactly what we talked about. We're going to go down to right one, mark the point. Then we're going to do it again, down to right one, mark the point. Okay, are you ready? Down two, right one, mark the point. Down two, right one, mark the point. Down two, right one, mark the point. I'm just trying to show you a pattern. I'm doing a lot more points than are needed, but I want you to see the pattern. We're going to form a straight line, and we're going to connect all of our dots, and there you go. And there's the graph that has a slope of negative 2 
and a y-intercept before. Let me ask you a question. Is it leaning the way you thought it should lean? I hope the answer was yes. Okay, I'm going to get my eraser. I need to erase a little bit of my work because I want to show you again another way to do it. Okay, so this time I'm going to draw my y, x, and y coordinate plane a little bit lower on my graph paper. Okay, we're still using the same information. Okay, and I'm going to graph positive 4 on the y intercept again. Okay, there it is. There's my y intercept, positive 4 on the y axis. Now, this time, remember, we said slope in the original one, we did negative 2 over 1. Well, there's there's another way to write that slope, believe it or not. You could flip the negative sign into the denominator. Negative 2 divided by positive 1 is the same exact thing as positive 2 divided by negative 1. They both mean negative 2. So as you notice in the left graph, I, I really needed to bring my points down. I didn't have a lot of room up here to graph points above the 4. So I brought it down. I came down to right 1, down to right 1. Now I'm going to use that form. I'm going to do positive 2 over negative 1, which means up to left 1. Okay? And I'm going to try that. So let me get my eraser out. And I do need to erase just a little bit. Oops, need to redraw. There we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. And, and this time I'm going to go up to left one, mark it. Up to left one, mark it. Are you seeing the pattern? Now I have a little room. I'm going to go the other way as well. I'm going to do the uh, down to right one to just show you that it's really the same exact line. Down to right one, down to right one, down to right one. Do you see how it's all on the same line? Whether I go up to left one or down to right one, they all, all these points lie on the exact same line. So what I want you to pull from this is that there are always two ways to write a slope, okay? There's always two ways. You can do negative 2 over positive 1 or flip that sign down to the denominator and do positive 2 over negative 1. Now, you may be asking, well, what if my slope is a positive number? What if my slope was originally positive 2? What would be the other form? Well, great question if you were thinking that. This is how you would handle that situation. Do negative 2 over negative 1. Because recall, what's a negative divided by negative? Yep, you got it. It's a positive. So both of these mean, they both mean positive 2. But that's two ways to write the same thing. So if you have a negative slope, just you can do it in the negative sign in the numerator and then again in the denominator. If you have a positive slope, both top and bottom can be positive or top and bottom can both be negative because that together does mean positive slope overall. Okay, let's flip to the next page because I wanted to practice this with you one more time. You know, sometimes saying it one more time and you can work ahead if you think you know what you're doing. So let's get the coordinate plane drawn, okay? And then just check yourself. Remember the very first step. This is always your first step. Mark the one point you know for a fact is on your line. If they give you the y-intercept, that, my friends, is a point, and you need to mark it. All right, there it is. It's marked. There's zero, one, positive one on the y. Now, we're going to use the slope negative 2 over positive 3. What's another way of writing that? Do you remember from the last slide? What's another way we could write this? If you said 2 over negative 3, you're absolutely correct. Great job on that. So remember, when we're looking at this form here, the negative 2 over positive 3, this is our pattern, down 2 right three okay so let's do that a couple of times 
and see what the pattern is. And then right before we get started, let's just check the slope. It's negative slope. Which way should this line be leaning? Kind of do a self-assessment. If it, you know, I taught you this several sections ago, so hopefully this remains, you know, as fresh in your mind. All right, pencil tip on positive one on the Y. Get it there. Now, let's go down two, right three. Mark your point. Down two, right three. Mark your point. Let's do one more. Down two, right three. Awesome. That looks great. Now, let's do the other version. Let's come over here and let's do up to left three. That's what two over negative three means. Positive on the two means to go up. Negative on the three means go left. So let's follow that pattern and let's see if, if it lies on the same line as these other points we've already done. So pencil tip back on the y-intercept. There it is. Go up two, left three. Marker point. And I think we're going to run out of room, so I'm only going to be able to do one of those. But hey, take a look at your final result. It looks like a straight line to me. So very good. Connect all of your points together and you have your line. Ask yourself this question. Is your line leaning the way you anticipated when you first assessed your slope? Ask yourself that question and hopefully the answer is yes. If you have any further questions, bring those to class tomorrow and let's talk about it.